Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. You know all my struggles. You know my... All right, P, I got to ask you, man, growing up, who were some of your favorite players? My favorite players? Uh, I loved watching Clayton Kershaw growing up. Uh, Albert Pujols was like my favorite position player. Um, I think those are like the big two right there for me. I like it. I like yeah. it. So, man, I'm a sneaker guy, man. I'm looking down at the feet, man. <laughs> seeing the Jordan 1. <laughs> so, you say you're a Jordan 1's guy, man. So, yeah. seeing that baseball, now the coaching baseball, everybody's embracing kicks. What do you think about that? I love it. I love the creativity in the game and, you know, seeing different kicks with cleats on them. It's, it's cool. It's really awesome. I like that. I like that. So, let's just say if you could wear any particular, like, Say if you can get one guy like maybe Jerry Lorenzo, like maybe Recipes Virgil. Yeah. If you could have a chance to have your own like custom cleat or like maybe your own PE for Jordan One, yeah. How would you want that? Would it be like maybe a, a bread one or like an off white yeah, one? Yeah, I like the, I like the real client, like the breads. Uh -huh. I love the breads or the uh, the Chicago ones, mm. especially with our colorway too. I think those look really clean. Have you talked about wearing the Spider Man's with y'all colorway? No, I haven't. I yeah. haven't, but I just saw those a couple weeks ago. Yeah, okay, That'd be a good idea. I like that. I like that. So man, you talked about those pictures that you like going up. So I do this question called Baseball Mount Rushmore. Yeah, and it is on the spot. Yeah. So you got to give me four guys, four mm -hmm. pitchers okay. that you would put on the Mount Rushmore. Oof. Oof. Clayton Kershaw for sure. Okay. Randy Johnson. Okay. Nolan Ryan. Okay. Oof. I'm going to go closer, Eric Gagne. That is nasty. Well, I yeah. like the Gagne thing, yeah. man. Shout out to Eric Gagne. So, man, you know, congratulations with everything happened for you at the, the WBC. Yeah. Talk about representing Mexico, man, and just... You had a manager over there, Benji Gill. Yeah. Can you talk about that man for you? It was awesome. Uh, you know, Benji was a huge, you know, obviously part of that team being the manager and, you know, the way he kind of rallied us together after our first game against Columbia and, uh, you know, tough loss, two to one, I think. And just the way he got us, he, he just said the perfect things to us at the perfect times and, you know, got the guys going when they needed to get going and, you know, let guys play hard and fast. And, and it, was, it was really cool. I like that. I like that, man. So, I think a lot of people slept on Mexico, man. And I yeah. think that y'all y'all defied a lot of odds, man. Just, you know, for the next WBC, I'm thinking that you obviously want to be there. But, you know, seeing your two teammates mm -hmm. get that final moment. I mean, if there was a movie script, right. that would be the perfect movie script, right? Yeah. To see that, man, how was that to see those two face each other? It was crazy. Um, yeah, well, one with, with Team Mexico, uh, me and Benji talked like every day last year about, you know, if I wanted to play or not or – and then he would talk to me about the roster and he's telling me about the guys that are going to play. I was like, like <laughs> we're probably a top, I, top three team, top three or four team. Mm -hmm. Like, no doubt in my head, I knew that everyone was going to kind of doubt our team and how far we could go. But, you know, when he was laying out the roster and the lineup for me, like, we were salivating over this tournament. Like, we, wow. we knew, like, we knew we were going to beat Team USA. Like, crazy, it sounds crazy, but we had really, high hopes for this too and I, you know I, we performed the way that we thought we were i like that man so you know the pitchers now got the cool walk-up songs right yeah so i gotta ask you man song is named after you you can pick any artist that allowed to do your walk-up song to the mound who do you want to do your song it's named after you uh, i think i'd want it to be two artists i think i want a kendrick and j cole Ooh, teacher okay. Yeah. okay that may be a song they need to drop that album they got to get it allegedly right? right i like yeah. that i like that yeah so a few more questions man i'm a gamer and i gotta ask you this man the first time you saw yourself on mlb the show what yeah. did you think first time i saw what yourself on mlb the Myself? show oh i was crazy i mean growing up played video games played a lot of a lot of baseball games and football but growing up i you know knew i wanted to play a sport as my career and i knew that coming with that the stuff that came with that was being in a video game and you're kind of immortalized on a disc on a screen it's it's really, really cool. I like that. I like that last question, man. So if you had three dream hitters that you could face from the past, who would be the three hitters that you want to face? Barry Bonds. Um, can't, I can't say Shroud or Shohei. I've already faced them. Yeah. Barry Bonds, Mark McGuire, and Sammy Sosa. I think those three right there. That's a nasty list. Fun. Well, man, P, man, keep doing your thing out there, man. Yeah. Keep wearing them kicks, man. We're going to be talking again soon. Yeah. I appreciate Thank you. you. Thank appreciate you. It. You might get them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah.